Hey, you! Yeah, you! Do you like candles? Ha but are they too expensive? Have you ever tried making one? Then this is the video for you! Okay, <clears throat> now this is how you make a candle. Now first off, you see we have a block of wax. The first step is to actually break the wax, and then you put it in a pot. Now, usually it's most efficient to actually break it up into individual pieces, but for efficiency in the video, it's really difficult to break it, so we're just going to drop it in a block. And now with step two, since we put the wax inside the pot, now we take the pot over to another pot of boiling water to use to implement a method called double boiling. Now essentially what this does, make sure it get burned here, is it keeps the wax from getting completely melted down and causing a fire hazard because if we literally put it inside there in the water, it could catch on fire. Okay, so step three is to carefully monitor the melting of your wax. It should not get too high in temperature because the wax generally tends to skip the boiling point and instead decides to catch on fire and fire isn't a very good thing. So what you're gonna do is gonna kind of wait, in, uh, wait for the wax to melt and you kind of gently stir it while you do this while monitoring the temperature. The prime pristine temperature is between 190 and 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, it shouldn't exceed these uh, two temperatures um, because it can start to get a little bit dangerous. But uh, once the wax is melted and at that pristine temperature, then you can continue doing the fourth step. Now for step four, once the, once the wax reaches between 190 degrees Fahrenheit and 200 degrees Fahrenheit, you want to split your dye into fifths and then pour them in to the melted wax and then stir them until you start to see it melt and blend in with the wax and change colors. Alright, so for step five, uh, after you've added the coloring dye into the wax and made it the color you want it to be, we can now add the fragrance. Um, so what you're going to do is it has to be at 190 degrees Fahrenheit to 200 degrees Fahrenheit and you just put in the scent. Now for this particular candle the scent is vanilla um, and you just stir it gently while watching the temperature making sure it doesn't get too hot or too cool and you wait for it to melt and then you add more or less, fra uh, you add more fragrance uh, depending on how much of a scent you want it to have. And then after that's done, you then just get ready for step uh, six. Alright, so step six is to grab the pot with the wax and very carefully pour it into um, a pot that can easily pour into a smaller container uh, for safety reasons. Uh, also, for safe, safety reasons, you should always wear gloves because wax is very, very hot at 190 degrees. Now, the slower you pour the wax into another container, the less air bubbles it will have, but also the hotter the wax is, the smoother it will be. So you have to be very careful when pouring this. Once again, it is pretty hot. So once that is done with, we can move on to step seven. Uh, now for step seven. Once it's between the perfect temperature of 180 degrees Fahrenheit and 100 degree, 90 degrees Fahrenheit, you take this pitcher that had the wax in it over here. And you begin to pour it, and of course make sure that the wicks are perfectly aligned in the center and straightened. 
to the best of your abilities. It's not straightening. And then you slowly and very gently pour it. We recommend you wear gloves. Now the slower you pour it, the less air bubbles are in there. And the hotter that it is, closest to 190 degrees, the easier it'll be to remove the mold, the outside shell, because you will eventually have to take it out for the final version of the candle. Okay, so for step eight, you pretty much have to wait for five minutes until it kind of gets a little cooler. And um, we stated before that you have to have the wicks in before you pour the uh, wax. That's probably not the best course of action. Uh, as we learned, the, the wick, well, it won't stay up by itself. So it's probably best to... Uh, Pour the wax inside the two containers, the two molds. Wait five minutes for it to cool down a little bit, and then put the wick uh, inside the actual wax. So now, the pretty much the, the only thing you have to do is wait five minutes, and then continue to step eight, which is to put the wick in. Okay, for step nine, uh, after f waiting five minutes for the the wax to cool off a little bit, uh, you insert the wick um, into the wax and you just leave it there make sure the wick is straight as possible because once you get it in there it can be a little bit difficult to get out without completely breaking it And then I guess the ideal thing is to just hold it up like that until it dries. Or just keep it in place a little bit. And after this, you what you do is you pretty much wait for about uh, 20 to 30 minutes for it to kind of dry off. And then you can continue to the, the next step. Go ahead. Alright, so for step 10, pretty much what happens is uh, the candle... Uh, once after 20 30 minutes of uh, cooling down it uh, because uh, when wax cools down it shrinks and contracts and it forms almost like these little wells near the the wick so what we're going to try to do is using uh, some of the previous leftover uh, hot wax which is still at 180 to 190 de uh, degrees Fahrenheit we're going to kind of fill them up very carefully not to overflow it and wearing a glove, I'm going to fill it up a little bit so the well is pretty much covered. You have to be pretty careful so it doesn't um, spill over because it's pretty full. Like that, I barely got it. But um, pretty much what you're going to do after that is just wait for it to uh, cool down. And that should be pretty much it. It should take about two hours to cool down at room temperature and um, about an hour to cool down inside a refrigerator. But you can't keep it in a refrigerator for too long because uh, the candle will just crack. And now you can make your very own candle. Yay!